Hi everyone, so by now you must be done with your accounts and law papers. So forget about those papers now, focus on next paper which is paper 3 quantitative aptitude, right? So in this 10 minute video, quick short video, we'll just see some tips for last day preparation and some tips for exam. Now before I start, I always say this, remember, if you have your own strategy for last day preparation and you are confident about it, then you follow that strategy. Do not look at any video, don't even listen to me. You must follow your own strategy. But if you are unsure, if you are confused, if you don't know what to do, then let's start. So basically for maths, the most important thing to revise in the last two days. Now, fortunately, you have got two days this time, right? So you have law papers evening, two full days and then maths papers morning. So nearly two and a half or three days. So in that you can easily do this. You can easily do a lot of revision. So basically formulas is must be your starting point. Maybe you have your own formula notebook. Okay. If not, by this time, forget about it. You cannot prepare it now. But you maybe you have your class notes. If not, I have also uploaded a formula marathon on this channel. Okay. I'll, I'll give the link in pinned comment and the description. So I have uploaded the formula marathon on this channel for maths and for stats both. Okay. So go through that along with that I have given a link for PDF also for that notebook which I prepared. So you can go through that. You can refer to that. That will help. So formula revision is must first. Second, revise important shortcuts. Okay. If you are still struggling with shortcuts from time value of money, especially mathematics of finance or chapters like basic indices, equations you are struggling to solve on calculator then revise the shortcuts once because that will save a lot of time in exam and you have time right it will not take more than one and a half or two hours to just revise all the shortcuts quickly so do that maybe for that again you have your own notebook or class notes or if not i have given link to the playlist which i have already created in the description you can go through that to see some important shortcuts especially for chapters of mathematics or finance or chapters like permutations, combinations or theoretical distribution. Okay. After this is done, then go to difficult concepts from important chapters. Okay. Now one thing to know is now only two days are remaining. If we have put any chapter for option, agar koi chapter option ko rakha apne, jaise ki, some students do not, I mean, by this time, I know, Many of you have not studied derivatives or integration, I know, right? Maybe some of you have not studied uh, uh, the small chapter of inequalities. Maybe some of you are not sure how to calculate regression uh, coefficients. That is okay. If you have skipped a chapter, then right now don't do it. Now skip it. That is okay. Assume that it is not there. Forget about it. Move on with the remaining chapters. Obviously, I am hoping nobody has kept mathematics of finance for option because that is the most important chapter. So you must know mathematics of finance and chapters like probability, permutations, combinations, those are important. But if you have kept some small, small chapters for options, not chapters, if you have kept any one or two chapters for options, then right now you can skip it. These two days is not the right time to study those. But in the chapters that you have done, focus on the difficult concepts and finish them off first. Again, this will just take ma maximum like 2.5 hours. This will take again maximum like 2, two hours. Difficult concepts will again take maximum 2 hours. Just go to each chapter, focus on the difficult concepts and finish them off. Maybe 2.5 hours, right? So, all this can be done in just 7 hours and you have nearly 2 and half or 3 days with you, right? So, in entire remaining time, the most important thing is practice. You must keep on practicing as much as you can because when you practice a lot, in exam, you have to solve 100 questions in 2 hours, right? So you must be used to doing that. By now, obviously, you have practiced a lot. But in these two days, uh, from wherever you can, ICI module, additional question banks, mock test papers, your class notes, any additional books you have, any additional resources you have. If you have not done anything, solve it. Okay. For practice, if you want, I have put on the channel already. So many of you know this. I have put a master compilation of all the important MTPs, all the important additional question banks all the important exercises you can go through whatever you feel is difficult don't go through everything okay only the important ones forget about rest if you think that you know this skip it and go ahead okay now is not the time to watch everything then i have already put some uh, youtube shorts around 50 to 51 shorts which have some tricky or important mcqs or 
some difficult tricks or shortcuts or concepts right then i have put a separate uh, playlist for calculate the shortcuts again yes you can go through that so practice is must fine so this is about the three days that you have or 2.5 days okay have a good sleep sleep cycle must be proper okay aisa mat karo ki raat tak padhai kar rahe unless you study at night and then exam ke time pe you feel sleepy that should not happen so just you know uh, follow a regular schedule but at least study for 9 to 10 hours if possible 12 hours a day for these next 2 uh, 3 days because that these are going to be the most crucial days for you and remember for those who like maths maybe this paper is easy but obviously for every student at least one paper is always difficult jaise ki mere liye law used to be difficult although i teach law now but at that time law used to be difficult tax used to be difficult for me but for you if maths is difficult for you then remember that you have to any scoring 40 marks out of 100 is not difficult right based on whatever practice you have done you can easily score 40 marks that is not our target our target is 60 70 80 ideally 90 or 100 but getting 40 marks is not difficult so don't panic about it paper is going to be easy you are going to be able to solve uh, questions don't worry about it okay so go about it confidently and then yeah we have to discuss checklist but before that let's see what to do at the time of exam okay so when you go for the exam when you are sitting in the exam hall most important thing is when you get paper with you there is no reading time for maths so when you get the question paper and answer sheet immediately start solving okay questions 1 to 100 are all in random order it is not like uh, one chapter will come first then next chapter then next chapter not like mtp right all are random if it is random then apply concept of probability that every question is equally likely every question has equal probability of being easy or difficult so if everything is random then why go to question 25 directly right go from 1 2 3 4 in sequence do not uh, see what is question 90 what is question 72 don't do that okay many students do this they just skip they feel that this question 25 is easy let's solve it then this question 52 is easy let's solve it don't do it first of all it will waste time second it might lead to mistakes in marking in your omr sheet so don't do that then uh, so omr sheet i have this this is there on icai website i hope you know when you are marking take care that you are marking in front of correct question hmm. then one more thing sometimes it happens that you start solving question 1 2 3 4 5 6 all are difficult first 10 questions you find are difficult let's say first 20 questions are difficult that can happen don't worry because understand any paper is going to be 20 to 25% difficult now i mean paper is not going to be 100% easy right but since it is random if you are getting first 20 questions as difficult then logically rest of the questions will be easy right so don't panic if you feel that a question is difficult or if you feel that that question cannot be solved within one and half minute maximum then skip it go to the next question because in this way you will be able to reach till question 100 and then if there is some time left come back and solve the remaining questions why i am saying this because many times it happens that students keep on solving each question whatever time it takes okay then what happens after 2 hours they are only at question 60 that means you have not even seen the remaining 40% paper matlab aapko pata hi nahi ki wo 40% easy tha ya difficult you don't know what if that 40% was easy right so don't do that if you feel if you feel that a question is difficult it cannot be solved in one and one and half minute maximum skip it go to next question come back if you have time right theory questions is like a gold mine you can definitely get one mark in that mathematics of finance you know it is going to come for 12 to 16 marks be prepared for that calculator be be ready with that okay we have everything arranged properly you don't have a single minute to waste one more thing they will come for your attendance register signing right you must have seen in accounts and law also don't waste time in that a lot of students sit and watch the supervisor coming from student to student so they are taking sign of that student and that student then they come to you so you keep on staring at them then you sign then they go away then you start solving don't do that they will do their work that supervisor will do their work you do your work okay when they come for sign give the sign and that's it right fine okay last and most important thing is checklist what you should carry for your exam now carrying both black ball pen and hb pencil is important because 
uh, as per the instructions on the OMR sheet, I hope you have read this. Okay, read it beforehand so that you don't have to read it in exam. Okay, in exam you don't have time for that. So use HB pencil to darken appropriate circles. So for circles, you must use HB pencil. For those boxes where you have to write your number and everything, you know these boxes. Okay, you have to circle your roll number like this. So for example, your roll number is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you have to circle one with HB pencil. Write one here with pen. Then circle two with HB pencil. Write two here with pen. So for this, use pencil. For this, use black ballpoint pen. Pen. Okay. Fine. Important. Along with pencil, carry at least two to three pencil because you don't have to keep uh, time to uh, keep on sharpening it every time. Along with that, carry two spare pencils. Carry sharpener. Carry eraser. Okay. Eraser is most important. If you get a question wrong, you have to erase it completely, completely erase karo. Then only go to the, I mean, resolve it. Okay, because they have given that specifically. Remember that negative marking is there. Uh, for negative marking, I have put a separate video, so I'll, I'll uh, give the link of that. But solve strategically. Okay. Calculator. Calculator must be your usual calculator. Do not take a new calculator with you because that will have M plus MRC button uh, divided by or you know, plus minus sign at some different place or square root. And that might confuse you, that might slow you down. So use your usual calculator. If possible, take a backup calculator with you, if possible. Hmm? If possible, carry a watch with you so that you don't get panicked. You know when one hour is done, when one and a half hour is up and so on. Water bottle is must, obviously. Before, because obviously you'll need, you might need it and second is you should not waste time in searching for it from someone else. Admit card is like that. This is like the most primary requirement. I have I've seen personally seen a couple of students who did not take their admit card in exam and then they had to uh, keep on proving their identity using other card or license or something. Right? So don't waste time. So all this is important, but easy. Don't worry. Like I said. Even if you are afraid of maths, remember that you, I mean scoring 40 marks is not difficult. So you are going to pass. The only thing is how well you pass, right? So whether you can score 60, so focus on that, that will help you. In these three days, if you have any doubts, if you have any you know, stress or panic about the exam, if you have any questions about exam or syllabus or anything, you can reach out to me on Telegram directly. Okay. So I hope this was useful to everyone. I'll give all the links in the comments, all the best and let me know after your exams, how the exams were, okay? All the best, bye.